The month of October is traditionally dedicated by the Catholic Church as Respect Life Month, teaching the need to respect all life from conception to natural death. This message sometimes gets lost in politics and heated discussions. Tonight we hear from a psychologist who talks about the real and devastating impact abortion has on both men and women, as well as learn about a Catholic ministry that helps people heal from those deep wounds. Real to Real's Carolee McGrath has more. I'll share with you how I got involved in post-abortion ministry. Dr. Teresa Burke is the founder of Rachel's Vineyard Ministry, a post-abortive ministry of Priests for Life. Dr. Burke, who spoke at the 2013 Mother's Day dinner, developed the retreat weekend model where women and men can go away to begin to heal from a past abortion. Each weekend is run by a team of people trained in the Rachel's Vineyard process, including a professional counselor, women and men who have also experienced abortion, and a priest. Everything is kept confidential. Abortion, because it's usually done in secret, and there's a lot of shame involved, and there's a lot of ambivalence and conflict. That's why anybody would tell you that abortion is a very difficult decision to make. So consequently, people's feelings about abortion, their emotions, their stories never told, um, it's a trauma that they undergo that they're not able to grieve. Burke wrote the book Forbidden Grief, where she discusses the many devastating effects abortion can have on women, which are often dismissed by the media and even therapists. Those feelings get stuffed, those memories get pushed away, and then it can lead to the eruption of other symptoms, um, like eating disorders, different addictions where you want to run away and numb the pain, um, relationship problems because abortion happens in the context of a relationship. Joetta Dawson, who had an abortion in college, is now a volunteer at Rachel's Vineyard Retreats. I became involved with Rachel's Vineyard Retreat because when I was a college student, I had an abortion. And I carried the pain and the grief and the shame of that for over 20 years. Joetta, who made her retreat at the National Shrine of Divine Mercy in Stockbridge, went on to marry her college boyfriend. They had three children, but she never grieved the loss of their first baby. I wore a mask where the rest of the world saw a person who was fairly well together, had a career, had a marriage, had a life, but inside of me, I wasn't any of those things. I was anxious, I was depressed. While abortion is often thought of as a women's issue, it also has a tragic effect on men as well. Dr. Burke says there are millions of fathers out there who were left heartbroken by a past abortion. Philip Myers is one of them. What were the circumstances um, with the abortion? Uh, um, well, it was a long time ago, a um, good 30 years. Um, my wife actually worked at an abortion clinic and we became pregnant and we were not ready. The typical, we weren't ready. So we decided to have an abortion. Philip, who made his Rachel's Vineyard retreat in 2010, is now a volunteer as well. Both he and Joetta hope more men and women will make the retreat and begin the healing process. We always hear about abortion being a woman's issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It isn't just a woman's issue. The men suffer also. They suffer in silence. They don't want to be thought of as weak. We have to be the strong ones. We can't cry. We can't show emotion. Um, it's kind of dumb. <laughs> but that's the way we're brought up. That's what we're taught. But Philip and Joetta know that there's help for those suffering from abortion, and God's love and mercy are for everyone. Reporting for Real to Real, I'm Carolee McGrath. For more information about Rachel's Vineyard Retreats in the diocese, you can call 413-452-0686. That's 413-452-0686.